everybody to another session of Jerusalem's Gate. I'm uh, just really excited that I'm able to give this message. Uh, it's uh, today's message is uh, pure heart. Uh, having a pure heart in these uh, end days. Uh, you know, the uh, I said this many times. The, the Bible says at the end days, uh, love will grow very cold, and uh, the essential uh, element that bonds a pure heart is love. And anybody that watches my vlogs know that I speak quite often about love because it is the Apostle Paul told us it's the greatest gift to have is love and it's so rare. Uh, all you have to do is watch the news and uh, all the wars and rumors of wars and all the uh, injustice and lawlessness and uh, disrespect and uh, there's, uh, there's absolutely uh, the love. You can actually feel the love, uh, the lack of love. Uh, but our job as Christians is to go against the grain and love and esteem others better than yourself respect authority uh, don't uh, think that uh, you're better than anybody else and uh, and treat each each other with respect uh, the uh, the Bible tells us at the in the end days this is what to look for in the end days how the uh, uh, the world would be uh, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of themselves, own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, he heady, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Uh, that's what the, the uh, Bible tells us, the Apostle Paul tells us what the, uh, uh, the, the uh, generation that sees the uh, end of the age would be. And it sounds like you're reading the uh, socio sociology uh, report of the current times. And uh, it is... Uh, it is uh, evident that we're living in the last days. It's very, uh, uh, very clear about that, and most people would agree on that. But uh, here's a quote I came across that I, I, I think is uh, kind of interesting. Obtaining a pure heart isn't a superficial feeling of well-being on circumstances, but a deep supernatural experience of contentness based on the fact that one's life is right with God. Uh, we have to be right with God, not claiming perfection, uh, God knows I'm not perfect. If you don't believe me, ask my wife. I am. Uh, I am far from perfect, but uh, uh, I uh, try to fight the good fight of faith on a daily uh, uh, basis. Sometimes on a minute basis. Uh, you know, it's it's weird. Uh, as a Christian, it's uh, the Apostle Paul says it so so uh, uh, right. He says, "Why do I do the things that I don't want to do?" And don't do the things I wanted to do. Oh, wretched man that I am, who's going to save me from the body of this death? And then the next verse he goes on and saying, the Lord Jesus Christ will. So uh, we don't get to heaven on our own uh, uh, goodness and our own uh, righteousness. Uh, we are get to heaven by the grace of God and the work done on Calvary's cross and by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and Messiah. Uh, Proverbs 4.2 uh, uh, 420 to 23 and everybody knows that watches my vlogs that I, I back it up with scripture uh, what does it say about a pure heart uh, which is so essential in these last days I have it's just so essential to have a pure heart and everybody is you don't just wake up with a pure heart it's a work a working in progress uh, as you mature as a Christian and we all try uh, us Christians that have been a Christians for uh, quite a while that's our our job is to mature uh, not thinking, not putting yourself higher than a new Christian by any sense of uh, 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 imagination. With the, the new Christians, we should uh, honor and uh, support and, and lift up and uh, and help in every possible way. Uh, because we, we all know once you give uh, your life to Christ, uh, almost major, overwhelming majority of the time, the devil comes in and tries his best to... Uh, to uh, stop that. So Proverbs 4 20, 23. My son, attend unto my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings, let them not depart from thine eyes, 
Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all your, their flesh. Keep the heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. And that's what uh, Proverbs 4, 20, 23 says. Uh, let's go on to a real popular verse, Matthew 5, 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. That, uh, that's a scripture that we should all meditate on uh, and uh, think quite often about. Because uh, uh, like uh, most people that uh, seek the Lord, they want to see God. And they want to be in God's presence. And the Lord is present when that trump sounds or uh, if we have to go through the valley of shadow of death. Uh, Psalms 12.6 the words of the Lord are pure words, as silver trod in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. So you go through a purification process when you uh, uh, start growing and getting a pure heart, uh, which is, again is a process. It's just not something that is immediately granted. And one day you don't have a pure heart, and the next day you wake up and you have a pure heart. It's a process, as a maturing process, and a, like a goal being put in the fire and uh, getting the pure, uh, the the fire getting the impurities out of the gold. And when the gold is finished in the furnace, it is a pure gold, and without any uh, uh, elements of uh, 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 any you know impurity in it. Let's go on to uh, Psalms 24, 4 to 5. He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. We all want to be blessed of the Lord. So we, uh, we, we, we're blessed in the fact that Jesus sees our effort. And it's not by your own strength you get to heaven again. But uh, you fight the good fight. And the Lord uh, knows that... Uh, those that are fighting the good fight and trying their best, not claiming perfection by any sense of the imagination, but a fight of faith to live, uh, to have a pure heart. Psalms 51.10 Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Oh, that's such a, such a beautiful verse, such a beautiful verse. Uh, let me repeat it. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Uh, I'm, a few uh, uh, things I came across I think you might find interesting. A man's life depends on his heart, for this is where success or failure begins. It's within the heart. God doesn't look at a person's outside. Uh, God look, measures a man and a woman by their heart. He weighs the heart. And you have to have the same nature as Jesus. Not, not saying you have to be perfect like Jesus, God forbid. But you have to have the same nature and inclinations of the Lord. We must love Him in our hearts and bear fruit, fruitful works by His love. Another quote, The Lord will be strong for them whose heart is perfect toward Him. So the Lord will be strong for those whose heart is perfect toward Him. Uh, you get perfect toward Him by accepting Him, uh, of course, as you, His uh, as your personal Lord and Savior, and my, my, how your life changes once you do that. You repent of your sins and you fight, you uh, enter into the fight of faith to mature as a Christian. A merry heart can change your life. Uh, you know, that's uh, something that the Lord's been dealing personally with me about, is uh, have a merry heart regardless of circumstances, and you will feel better uh, in a moment of... Uh, trials and uh, suffering uh, as a Christian, temptations and desolate feelings you get from the devil uh, as you try to mature or, or if you just accept the Lord as uh, your personal Lord and Savior, be happy. Uh, the Bible says when you're tempted, uh, when you enter into diverse temptations, uh, rejoice and be uh, happy because it builds uh, patience. Uh, so we, uh, uh, we must uh, build patience and you know the, the rapture of the church will happen on God's timing, not man's timing. And uh, all I can say is what I've been preaching for so many years now is that we're at we're at the uh, we're at the uh, the door. The Lord's at the door, and the earth can't take too much uh, more uh, of this. Uh, what's going on is it's building into a, uh, uh, a a lawlessness world where there's wars and rumors of wars and injustice and uh, so much. Uh, uh, lack of love in the world, but us Christians must uh, again love 
and not esteem anybody above ourselves and help out those, those new Christians. And uh, with that in said, I'll go ahead and close. We, we pray, uh, of course, for the peace of Jerusalem. Uh, they shall prosper that love thee. And we pray that God blesses America again. And we, uh, let's love one another and care for one another as we, uh, the age uh, ends and we prepare for the rapture. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask and pray. Amen.